guys, TGIS. I hope that you started a good well-being day. In this post, I want to share a fantastic audio that I've listened to way too many times. You will love this one, especially if you're not feeling good about something. It's worth your time to listen to this woman's talk. It's very straightforward, lighthearted, and uplifting until the conclusion. I really hope that you enjoy this one. Uh, please uh, use earphones and headphones. And wishing you a great day. Enjoy and chill. I'm wondering about having the feeling and not knowing what the thought is. So oh. not so much about, oh, I have all these thoughts, now I have this feeling. More That's like I have this feeling, and I don't know what the thoughts are that are causing it. It's a really good beginning place though, isn't it? Esther would say that and does even now from time to time where she'll say, oh, that doesn't feel good what was I thinking and if she catches it early enough she can usually trace the genesis of it and if you don't now you've launched a new desire I want to know what that's about so now it will be shown to you hmm. think about what your question is I want to know what my stumbling block is I want to know what thoughts I'm thinking that are bogus and that are in my way of something I want and you'll figure it out and usually pretty fast so like part of it's there now it gets it's this deep um, pit right. uh, so uh, almost like mm, nervous um, like I'm trying to find we can tell you what that is that nervous feeling that concern about what others are thinking hmm. is about wanting to get it right see that's what humaning does you think that you've got to get it right and that you want to be perfect instead of understanding that you are a constant eternal work in progress so you can't get it wrong and you never get it done and the reason you can't get it wrong is because it's never done so it's something about that were you feeling it before you got up here yeah I mean I feel it in my life often if I um, I just in some ways I, I go away um, it's a spinny like I do you feel it more when you're with others or when you are by yourself more by myself I feel like a compass that's just spinning and I have no idea what well, direction to go if you're feeling it more when you're by yourself then it's simply contradictory thoughts within you it's you having desires that your thoughts are contradicting so as that feeling is present now just ask yourself what thoughts are a match to this feeling what thoughts that I commonly think feel like this because you felt it before and you're feeling it now so you can make an association with what kinds of thoughts feel like this what are they I don't know which direction I feel like a compass that's spinning no that's the thought though it doesn't matter what the subject is so the thought is I'm lost I don't know what to do I don't understand my guidance I can't feel my guidance I'm not sure what my guidance is telling me mm hmm yep those all resonate so if you can't tell what your guidance is telling you what desire is being born out of that I want to be more aware of my guidance I want to be more aware of it in the earlier subtle stages you know there's sort of good news going on here because the fact that you can't pinpoint it means there's not a tremendous amount of momentum if there were more momentum there would be more examples that you could give to us but because you can't give any examples there must not be a lot of momentum to this well I'm not sure I mean I dropped to my knees sobbing at times it is it, it's actually quite a large fear it feels like a pit in my gut it, well stay with it then and give it some definition it what's it about it feels alone it feels scared it feels abandoned it feels left it, it feels like the absence of your inner being feels like the absence of my inner so, being do you acknowledge that you have an inner being I do and do you believe that your inner being is aware of you I, I do believe that and do you believe that your inner being is a fan of yours that your inner being adores you that your inner being has your back that you and your inner being are in this together do you believe that I believe I want to believe yeah but maybe I'm not sure that I feel maybe I don't trust it you don't believe it you don't believe it because you can't see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it you can see the humans the fickle humans but you can't see your inner being you can only feel your relationship with your inner being so here it is if your inner being did not exist 
you could not feel that feeling of its absence if there were no inner being knowing you loving you and calling you home then you would not feel any resistance as you don't go but the fact that you feel resistance as you don't go is evidence of the existence of your inner being where am I going where's where where's like where's going you're going like to clarity you're going to enthusiasm you're going to love you're going to good ideas you're going to the path of least resistance you're going to places where things you want are you're going to more prosperity and more clarity and more wonderful things you're going to where everything you've ever asked for whether you've been consciously aware of it or not is that's where you're going because that's where your inner being is and that's what your inner being is calling you to I want to go there yeah you do <laughs> yeah you do yeah you do and not going there sucks not going there feels awful and so acknowledging that your inner being exists which you just did so now never again will you have that feeling that you won't know I'm thinking a thought in opposition to what my inner being knows about this and as you start knowing that you'll start catching yourself in a thought a thought of not appreciating something or a thought of blame about something whether it's someone else or yourself you'll catch yourself in the thought and then it won't feel like this big mystery anymore you'll realize I'm thinking in opposition to my true self and you know it's not just the you that was you the day you were born it's the you that has been evolving ever since you have become through your life experience this evolved expanded powerful attracting being and when you stand in a place where you're not letting yourself move toward that then you don't feel so good in the same way that a question and an answer are on the same stick but the vibration of the question and the vibration of the answer are different a problem and a solution are on the same stick because as you created the problem you created the solution as you explored contrast you have created the expansiveness of your inner being if you hadn't created a huge expansiveness you not letting yourself live that expansiveness wouldn't bother you if somebody called you on the telephone and said hello you don't know me I'm just calling you to tell you I will never call you again you would say mother no you would say <laughs> you would say thank you very much you wouldn't feel any negative emotion about it but if someone you really care about were to say that to you you'd feel something and so you're feeling you're not letting your inner being into your experience that's what you're feeling that's what it is you're feeling your guidance and your guidance is talking to you about a whole lot of things but it's your guidance that you're feeling and what it's always saying is what you're thinking right now and what your inner being is thinking right now about the thing that you're thinking about because your inner being is always thinking about the thing you're thinking about no matter what thing you're thinking about your inner being is always thinking about the thing that you're thinking about in every moment of your life experience whatever your inner being is thinking about is the thing you're thinking about every single time every single time Did you get that what you're thinking about is what your inner being is thinking about but your opinion may differ from your inner beings for example you might not be liking you and your inner being adores you so then you don't feel good you might not be liking someone else but your inner being does so then you don't feel so good or you might be reveling in the fantasticness of something which your inner being is also doing so you don't feel the emptiness you feel the fullness of your inner being you feel those shivers or that feeling of warmth or love that feeling of appreciation yes so what's the purpose of the resistance like what's what's the purpose of the resistance of not going well we want to step back from that question just a little bit the purpose of contrast is that it puts the eternalness in eternity so resistance must exist if there can be wanted and the absence of it it's like light and dark you need the two in order to see anything without a combination of both you couldn't focus at all and so the purpose of the contrast is to sharpen your ability to focus do you mean what's the purpose of my negative emotion or what's the purpose of the thing that causes my negative emotion are you asking what's the purpose of negative emotion or what's the purpose of resistance you said resistance the purpose of resistance is 
in every particle of the universe there is wanted and unwanted it just must be otherwise there can be no ability to discern and no ability to expand and so then the purpose of negative emotion is is to indicate the contrast so that you can make decisions really good really good wonderful stuff We have enjoyed this interaction more than any that has come before. <laughs> there is great love here for you. And for now, we are complete. <laughs> I loved it. I love you.